What is up you guys? As you guys know, if you've been following along on Instagram or Facebook, we got engaged while we were in Mexico. We did? <laughs> we did. And I've gotten out. so many questions about like the engagement, the ring, what our plans are, and all of that. So we decided that we would do a little like wedding series here on YouTube. So if that's something that you guys want to see more of, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up so that we know it is helpful, and click the little red bell if you want to be notified of when we upload videos. Like how did you like prepare before we went on that trip I guess so aside from buying the ring <laughs> aside from buying the ring. so the process of buying the ring I wanted to propose in Mexico it was three days before we were leaving four the three business days and I went up town to get coffee for you <laughs> he was dogs. literally gone for three hours she doesn't know what I was doing. I had an idea. No, she has no ideas. So, girl at Starbucks asked me, what are you doing today? I said, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go buy a ring. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, it was That's Tessa. Funny. So I was like, I think I'm gonna go buy a ring. She goes, oh, okay. She didn't believe me. She's known we've, she's known that we've been dating <laughs> She didn't think that you'd actually do it. No, so I went out right after that. I was like, she doesn't believe me. So I went out and did it. And then I got you a ring. So just I knew on a whim? You, did you leave the house that day with no. the intention to buy a ring? No. That's I funny. did not at all. Zero intention of buying a ring at all. I thought I'd just put it off until <laughs> the next vacation. And then that vacation would come and then I'd put it off again. You guys, we've it. been dating for ten and a half years. So all those pictures that you see where it's like, he asked. And I said, it's about dang time. Like, so many people have been sending me those pictures because that's really our life. And I go, well, let's see if we can get a ring today. And I was like, it has to be today. And they go, I don't think it could be today, but it could probably be by Tuesday. <laughs> he busted out a couple rings, and then he goes into the back room, pulls out this one. And he goes, this is my favorite ring. And I go, I look at it, and I that's not the right hand. <laughs> you, you better learn that. <laughs> so I look at it. I go, oh, it is really sparkly. And it doesn't even have the main diamond in it. Cause it and I was like, this is kind of what she was looking for. So for those of you asking, this is what the Can ring looks it? like. I don't know if it'll focus on it. Rings are hard to I focus I will do on. a little panning of it right now. But... And then I go, okay, I'll get that one. And then we this went through. This is a lot of preparation. Yeah, you wanted the whole story. So then you went through and uh, we got you, we went and picked out a diamond size. There's supposed to be three, get to that later. Picked out three different diamonds and then went, paid for it. And then came home, brought you your coffee, which was probably about lukewarm by now <laughs> because it was an iced coffee. All the ice yeah. is melted. <laughs> yeah, dropped off, dropped off the dogs, so the dogs were there with us. Hi, uh, Enzo Kaya. We're outside, so if you guys hear cars driving by, that's why. Because yeah. it's too nice to not be outside. Exactly. So, dropped off the dogs, said I had to go do work stuff. Also and... didn't believe him. He no never way. works on a Saturday. Yeah, I do, sometimes. But not, not randomly at like noon, that's true. <laughs> Usually I'll go in at like 7 a.m. Yeah. Okay. So, on the day of, were you nervous? Um, yes and no. It's I... funny because like, it was our, so we got to Mexico Thursday, and we kind of just like explored a little bit, and then on Friday we were going to the Mayan ruins, and the cenotes, and I was like, so Lots of cool things. I was like, so what are you guys wearing? We were with two other couples, and they were like, probably just fitness gear, and I just had like an idea that he might propose. <laughs> so I made sure that I dressed somewhat cute. And I didn't wear like fitnessy clothes. Yeah. So 
he was also dressed nice like all our friends were in like fitness gear like nikes and i was just in like a off the shoulder black shirt which you guys saw um in the pictures and he was in like a button up button down button up it's a button up i think it's a button up no too. it's a button up because you start from the bottom button and you go to the top <laughs> so he was dressed nice too so i had an idea but on the day of we like got coffee which took forever terrible donuts Remember oh that? yeah the donuts they were terrible donuts oh. terrible coffee and we had like a probably 20 minute drive yeah, to the mayan ruins and then the whole time we were there he was like do you want to take a picture right there do you want to take a picture right there do you want to take a picture right there like all like throughout the whole time so i know i was him. thinking for like good pictures for instagram <laughs> which instagram i am fiance. which i'm appreciative that he thought about that but it kind of clued me in like we were dressed somewhat cute we were at a really cool Maybe that location was a really cute picture. but i also was kind of like we've been dating for 10 and a half years is he ever gonna ask mm -hmm. so that's always in the back of your mind i think that's been in the back of your mind since day one when we started probably. dating is he gonna propose to me yet <laughs> no that's 16. i didn't know that we would be together right now that's a long time Neither i was I. 15 years old when we started dating he was 18. so we were at this really pretty location we were overlooking the ocean it was very windy so that's what he was nervous about because my hair was blowing all over the place and my shirt because it was like one of those shirts that's like off the shoulder it kept like blowing all over the place and he wanted to make sure that we had memorable photos of this so overlooking the ocean having the salty breeze I was sitting on a little bench and they were all taking pictures like uh, we were with other fitness coaches so we were taking some really cute little pictures and then he got in a picture with me and we were both looking that way so he he was like this so we were both looking that way for the picture and then I turned and what were you doing I was I don't know I was on a knee <laughs> well insert and a things, clip things of just after. happened I don't know I blacked out <laughs> and you know how like when you grow up you have like all these ideas about what they're going to say and what you're going to say and are you going to cry and all these things I think we both blacked out and it wasn't from the tequila. No, we were sober. We were stone cold sober <laughs> with bad coffee in us. And we were just like, the wind, I don't know. But it was perfect. It was perfect. Like, the pictures all turned out really good. Yeah, they did. And we got a video. A cool view. I was like, I was just really glad that, like, if that cliff would have been on the other side, your hair would have been just <laughs> all over. <laughs> all over. The whole thing would have been ruined. And what's pretty cool is. There were a lot of people at the Mayan ruins, and I think that made you a little bit nervous. Yeah. yeah. But where he proposed, it looks like we were by ourselves, and it's really cool. Yeah. So I thought I wanted it was to perfect. get on the ruin, like climb it. Yeah, I guess he thought there was going to be like a giant pyramid that we could like climb well, up. Well, there is a giant pyramid, but it wasn't at our location. Yeah, we weren't at that one. So, but it was really, really cool. So then, what did we do the rest of that day? Right after that, we, we went, went to, to the, the cenotes. cenotes. We swam. You guys, the cenotes were beautiful. Although, because my ring was brand new, I was so nervous about swimming with it. I was trying to swim like with my hands like doggy closed, paddle, so that I wouldn't lose it. I was terrified of it. But okay. and then after that, we went home, walked the streets, and we got to pick dinner. Yeah, we took. We went to dinner with our friends. Um, we went to a Mexican place, obviously. We love Mexican food. Mm -hmm. We may or may not have Mexican food at our wedding. Who knows? <laughs> but, um, yeah, we had Mexican dinner. It was like a really cool Mexican place. So it was very bright and very, like, cultural, I feel like. They had, like, a little margarita stand oh, that, like, awesome. came up to you. And they made your margaritas right there in front of you. It was just like the guac stand where you make yeah. the guac in front of you, but it was margaritas. So it was yeah, it was cool. really, really cool. It was really good. So I would say it was a perfect day. And yeah. we were in Mexico and it was just... Okay, so we've gotten a lot of questions for you. Bring them on. Can we just spring them on you? Spring them. Okay, number one. Were you nervous? Yes, I was nervous. On the day of? Well, I just didn't know, like, when... What did you think I was going to say, no? No, I wasn't nervous about that part. I was just thinking about the pictures. Oh. 
I was like, so when is the good time to do this? Like, should I do it here at the Worried ruins? about the pictures. Should I do it there at the cenotes? I'm should glad I that you didn't because beach? we didn't really have our phones there. Yeah, because you're swimming. Yeah. That's why it was a good... And then I was just like, well, do I want to do it in front of a like a, a ruin or do I want to do it on the cliffside or... I was just like... Luckily, we had all our friends there to like paparazzi us. Yeah. We have video, we have professional photos, we have phone photos. Yeah. They were they on were, it. They were on it because I keyed them in on it the night before. Yeah. Just like, you know what? I handed out our big camera because it was already out. And then I was like, you know what? I got to get this on video. So I pulled out the vlog camera and then that kind of cued in everybody to like get ready to take pictures. And then yeah. I was like, okay. But this you were is nervous? Happening. Yes. I was, I was I was shaking. Like, you weren't shaking before? No, after you asked me, I was shaking. You were. Good. He was like so relieved. What if I want to do it or bad? What if I want After. Like you could tell that first day he was like nervous. And then after he yeah, just got to enjoy the rest of the trip. She's a little sneaky. Like <laughs> I had sneaky. ideas. No, you, you, you like Next question. to dig through things. Oh. It was in my backpack. The ring was in my backpack and we got stopped at customs and they like tried to unload everything and he was so nervous. Thank that would have sucked. What if they would have found it? Would right. you have just asked me at the airport? In front of the security lady? <laughs> yeah. That barely spoke English? Yeah. Okay. How did you know it was the right time? Um, I guess there is no really right time. Like, I just kind of felt like it was time. Like, there was a lot of right times before this that, but like, you know, I was trying to be smart with how we were doing everything in life. So, yeah, like, because we've school, been together for so long, like, I don't know, probably starting five years ago, people were probably like, why don't you guys just get married? And we were like, well, we're in college. We want to finish college. Like, we just had this vision for our life where we wanted to go to school, we wanted to finish school, we wanted to, like, move home or move or wherever like figure yeah. out where we wanted to spend our life and then kind of like settle in and be able to afford a wedding yeah and be able to afford the ring and being able to afford things and right now we can afford things so yeah we're not just living off student loans anymore yeah. which is nice so was asking my dad for permission scary i think they knew it was coming because when i showed up there without you they're like oh what are you doing here? Is everything okay? I go, well, I guess you could say that. She goes, oh? I was like, what do you need? And I was like, well, it's a conversation for me, <laughs> you and Rob. She goes, oh, oh, okay. This is my mom? Yeah. I, I think he was over at your uncle's house helping on the house. And I was like, yeah, he was over there, but I didn't want to get roped into doing everything because I got kind of got to do some things today. So I'm going to stay here and I, I called him he didn't pick up and then your mom went in the back room and i think she called everybody in the phone book until somebody answered and then told your dad to come over and we talked about disneyland and then because we had just gotten back from disneyland yeah we did we like just the day got before back. and then um, i was like all right well i didn't even have the ring at this time still just an image on a receipt they were making it yeah they were making it and putting the diamond in and we were waiting for the the other diamonds to come in and <clears throat> so i was just like well this is what it's going to look like and i was like i hope that you guys would want to have me around for forever <laughs> and then they got really happy and your mom started to tear up and your dad gave me what about you and i started to choke up a little bit but it was really nice. Yeah. So it wasn't ner You weren't nervous. To ask I, him. Well, I was nervous, but it was like a happy nervous. That's good. Yeah. The next question. What are your tips for picking the perfect ring for guys that might be watching or girls? Um, got to really look into the personality aspect of it. Like Jade, she started out with some of the pictures she sent me, and they're pretty like elaborate mm -hmm. but that's not really her 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 style like she's pretty s not simple but like elegant so something that was shiny and 
not too over the top and I my personal on touch was it as I wanted like I didn't want like a halo style because I feel like it takes away from the major diamond point like it makes it look bigger in my opinion but just having like the diamond out and like sh showing that's like big for me like the old classic ring where it's just like a circle with a giant diamond on it it's perfect that wasn't even a diamond shape I don't know what it was. Square? <laughs> What's funny is like when I was in high school, um, my best friend and I, we would go into like, like when we would go to Seattle or whatever, or New York. So when we were in New York, this is like the first time I remember and we were juniors, uh, we walked into Tiffany's and we were just like, oh, like look at all these rings. And I remember her and I would talk and we always loved just the band, like just a plain band with a stone on the top. And I was like, that is so pretty. But as I got older, I started seeing like the braided bands and like those are so gorgeous. But like Jacob said, they're not, they're not me. You. Like I, I do want, and, and the last couple of months, like as we were sending, or as I was sending him some examples and stuff, it was always very, very simple. Like a simple band with, with diamonds around it and a bigger diamond on the top. And that's exactly what he got me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, next question. Next question. I think this might be the last one. Bring them on, Captain. Um, are you excited or overwhelmed for planning a wedding with me? Well, I think we've done a pretty good job so far at, well, like getting the, the frame of it done. Now we have a lot of little things to do and, um, I don't know, it's been exciting. The um, guest list was hard. And we're not done with hard, that. And we're not done with it. We'll take you guys through the entire process of planning a yeah. wedding, but the initial, like... The initial, I'm excited for it. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be a lot of fun and... It'll be a journey for sure. Mm -hmm. A journey to married life. And our plans for this channel is to have a little wedding series. So obviously a lot of it will be me taking you guys through my process of planning a wedding. Jacob will have parts in it, obviously, but it's not like something he super enjoys. So when it's when needed, day. yeah, when needed, he'll help with things. Yeah, but, like building. But I am gonna be, gonna yeah, I'm gonna be taking it on by myself. Well, with like my bridesmaids and my maid of honor and my mom and my future mother-in-law. But I'm not gonna hire a wedding planner or anything like that. I do work for myself, so I think that I can. I think I can do it. Me too. I know. And I'm you can super do it. excited. So if you guys want to follow along, if you enjoy weddings, if you are interested in how to plan a wedding in a short time frame, um, stay tuned because I will be posting these videos. My goal is like twice a month because we have a lot of things happening over the next couple of months. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, Hopefully We're I got excited. all the questions answered. If not, hit me back up. <laughs> and we'll talk to you guys soon.